everybody, my name is Virus Little, but I am back to bring you guys another video. Today we will be looking at my second to last video in my Windows XP series. Today we will be looking at Windows XP Release Candidate 1 2474. Now, this build doesn't have too many things here, but this is a good wrap up for the Windows beta um, actual uh, beta build. We don't need to worry about anything else. The next video for next week for you guys is going to be the RTM version. And we're going to be closing out Windows XP. And we're going to be welcoming Windows Longhorn and or Windows Vista. So let's give you guys a little bit of notes on this. So this build was compiled on May 9th, 2001. We are almost there. We are three months away from the Windows XP build from, being, from this development to be finished. And we will actually be able to see... Windows XP pretty much in its purest form. We're going to be seeing Windows XP in its RTM version. So, this build has removed almost all references to Whistler and replaced it with Windows XP, and it introduced a new boot screen. In the setup, you can also see Windows XP RC1 references. What perfect timing that was. As you can see, some of the, some of the actual user interface in the um, actual setup is looking a little bit more different, which is really, really cool. Very, very interesting. I'm really liking this. There's not too much to say about this build. All I'm going to do is I'm going to speed right through the setup so we can get right into the build and so you guys can see what Windows XP looked like in this. So yeah, next week you guys are going to be getting the RTM version of Windows XP. Now, I wasn't able to get a vanilla, vanilla copy of the RTM version. The most I was able to get you guys is a Windows XP Service Pack 1. I will be talking about service pack 2 and 3 and 1 in those builds because I wasn't able to get a service pack up one where I can't update to a service pack. So you guys will be getting those information on the service pack 2 and 3 and 1 in the next week video. So we're going to be talking about that. I, that is my personal copy of Windows XP that was used for a Dell computer. That was used for, yeah, for a, actually no, a gateway computer back way back when Windows XP actually came out, really. And it was really, really cool. And it had Service Pack 1 on it. And I'm just like, okay, interesting. But, um, yeah, we are able to see that. And we were able to see the Windows XP RTM version for that. And as obviously, I'm going to not show the key because, I mean, Windows is, XP is still pretty pretty widely used around the world so i won't be, and microsoft is still asserting its copyright status on windows xp so i will not be allowed to show any keys i mean <laughs> I, I just have a habit of not showing those serial keys but most all the serial keys of the beta os is you are able to share and you are able to show but i, I just have a habit of not showing it because i might accidentally show a regular old key that's um for a full version of windows get me into a heap of trouble and i don't want to be in a heap of trouble as you can see the out of box experience has changed a little bit it no longer shows merlin anymore we don't have merlin anymore as, you, as i told you guys we now have the next little the question mark icon instead of merlin you know what and this is really cool i'm playing the windows xp tour music right now it's always my intro and my usual videos so it's really cool that you guys get to hear this so i'm gonna be keep doing this virus literable thank you congratulations Alrighty, let's get right into the operating system. Here we go, right into the operating system, Windows XP. You gorgeous looking operating system. I really miss XP, if you cannot tell, I really do. Um, I wish support continued for Windows XP, but it was a dying operating system. It's been, it was in service for such a long time. And I mean, hey, I mean, Microsoft's gotta put, put them down one of these days. But it was really cool that we still have that we said people are still actually using Windows XP. Really cool. So we can report a bug to the Windows Whistler beta team. As you can see, it still says Windows Whistler beta team really there. Before you can do .NET Passport Wizard. Okay, this is new. The .NET Passport Wizard. Okay, let's do a quick. That uh, doesn't want to do it. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's take a look here. Let's take a look at Windows Media Player. Okay, Windows Media Player looks still the same. Doesn't look any any different than regular old Windows Media Player. Well, I mean, this, is, this isn't like Service Pack 2 or Service Pack... Oh, and... Those media okay, this is the first crash! This is literally the first program crash of this series, so I want to say that. That's the first time a program has crashed on me. Internet Explorer, it still has the old, you know, dialogue about box. Outlook Express still looks relatively the same. The splash screen doesn't look any too different than for the last time we saw it. As you can see, we have Windows Update. Will it let us? Oh, can I? 
page page cannot be displayed. Okay, so I can't update my Windows XP. Oh, I'm really sad. Unfortunate. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep looking. Most of these icons have actually changed now. They've actually started to change all the icons now. There are no more icons, I believe, that are old, old. Oh, they took out Pinball and Solitaire and Spider Sol. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't think there's any more programs that have the actual old um style icons oh here we go we got our activate windows thing and this actually looks really different now it's actually starting to look like the modern windows activation not like the last time which had the windows me style that's gross windows me you're gross most of you guys are agreeing with me at this point <laughs> anyways so let's continue on windows media player i'm trying to get the about dial okay so it looks like the about dialogue really does destroy windows media player I'm gonna laugh what Microsoft sees that 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 bug report. They're gonna be like, this is a build from like a long time ago. Why are we getting this? Interesting. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. Let's see what else has changed into this build. Everything looks relatively the same. Nothing too much has really changed about this build. It's just a little thing just to end off this series, to give you guys an end off point of Windows um, XP. And so I can immediately move right into Windows XP RTM version. We're going to be able to see that and learn about the service packs. And I'm going to show you guys the tour. The tour hasn't really changed that much. Just a little bit. Slightly. Not too much, though. As you can see. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Going to show you guys that. And also, yeah. Pretty much. And then we're going to start our Windows Longhorn series. Oh, goodness. Windows Longhorn, guys. That is a long series. You guys are really going to enjoy that series. It's going to be going on for a long, 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 long time. Um, I would like to thank someone. I, I'm actually going to thank him in my Longhorn videos. Um, his name is Enderworld, I believe. Uh, I'm sorry if I, if I don't have your name on hand. I'm really, uh, excuse me. He gave me some builds for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1, which is really cool. So that means I can continue doing my Windows, my Windows series. And I still need a little bit of help. I would like to know if any of you could share if you guys happen to have, or if, if you guys happen to have your hands on any Windows 10 beta builds. That's right, Windows 10 beta builds Those are the only ones I need to continue and finish off this series anyways guys thank you enderworld for the help thank you very much for that and i'm gonna give you guys i'm gonna give you a thanks on every single video your, your name's gonna get mentioned on every single video his name's andrew and i want to say i'm gonna give him thanks in every single video that i do on those series anyways thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate all the love and support i appreciate reading your comments i appreciate reading the loving comments you guys have been giving me Thank you guys so much for being here for such a long time with me. I had to do control alt delete on that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate your love and support. Thank you guys for making me continue making these videos for you guys and improving the quality for you guys to make it better for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit those notifications so you guys are notified every time I upload a new video. You guys are going to want to stay notified because those Windows Longhorn videos are going to be really long and you're going to love it. Check, go follow my Twitter so you guys can communicate with me, ask me any questions, and you guys also get more notifications on Twitter whenever I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the love support again, and thank you very much for staying with me. All right, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, Virus Alertable, signing off.